Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about a product that I received or a couple of products that I received in my February BoxyCharm box and that is a set of Makeup Geek eyeshadow and also a Z palette. I have mine here. I took the two eyeshadows and put them into the Z palette already along with this uh, Ofra highlighter that I received a few months back. So what I'm going to be doing today is talking a little a bit about the companies, a little bit about the products, and then going through a tutorial for the eye look that I have here today. So if that sounds good to you, if you watch all the way through and you like this, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed but you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I do a number of product reviews and let's get on to talking about this. So Makeup Geek, there's not a lot to say that you probably haven't already heard if you are part of the community that watches YouTube beauty videos. Makeup Geek is known for their eyeshadows. This is my first time getting to try a Makeup Geek product and I am not disappointed. So they have this packaging uh, that the product comes in. It's a little pan uh, that you get and you can put into a Z palette and it is a pressed eyeshadow. They are just beautifully made but we'll get to that in a moment. So Makeup Geek, I have a personal affiliation for their logo. I know this is not part of product review in any way at all, but um, my actual initials are MG, so I just love the Makeup Geek part of this. And there's something that looks very Art Deco about their logo, which I just love. I'm just drawn to this. Makeup Geek is a company that sells all makeup products and brushes. The company was started by Marlena, who owns the company and runs it. Uh, it's all about being able to learn more about doing makeup from the comfort of your own home. There are tutorials, there's video tutorials, there's photo tutorials, there's all kinds of different looks. Uh, they are very involved in all kinds of different social media. You'll find them on Instagram, you'll find them on Twitter, you see all kinds of stuff on YouTube. Um, they're really out there and people tend to really love their products. They sell a few products that aren't theirs uh, also through their website so that you can buy beauty blenders there and you can buy Z palettes. Let's talk a little bit about Z palette because they have somewhat imploded in the last couple of days. That's a little harsh. They've done some weird things in the last couple of days um, from when this video is released. Basically if you go back and look at their at Z palettes Instagram over the last two days what appears to have happened, and I am not a drama person so you can look this up and find out for yourself, uh, is that they make these Z palettes, which are basically little magnetic palettes that you can put individual pans into. And they also sell depotting supplies so that if you want to get a regular palette and then pop out the eyeshadows, you can put them into your little Z palette. So I think part of the reason that they did this BoxyCharm uh, Z palette combo here is to advertise a new product that they have. And if you received BoxyCharm, you would have gotten a little tag that came in your box that talks about the Z palette that you got and also talks about their new product, which is their Z Potter, which is basically a little induction hot plate mechanism that you can use instead of using hair straighteners or candles or the oven or something like that to be able to melt some of the glue, to be able to get your pans out of other palettes. So they are selling that on their website for $85 American. I guess on social media some people pointed out that that is a lot to sell what is in a lot of ways basically a um, hot plate for. And instead of doing what they should have done, which is point out why their product is better, you know, it heats in a different way, it's made for cosmetics, it's, you know, has all these safety mechanisms, whatever that might be. Uh, they went off on the people who were complaining about them and saying, maybe you just can't afford our product. You know, maybe you're not for us. We don't want your money. And it was just very not how you want to treat your customers. So I think it is unfortunate that while they're putting these things out and promoting their new product, that at the same time, they are not conducting themselves very well. So that's all the drama part of it. You can decide for yourself whether you want to support a product that treats their customers or potential customers that way. That is all I'm going to say about that. The two colors that I received in my BoxyCharm subscription from Makeup Geek are Cherry Cola, which is this red color, and Prom Night, which is this interesting purpley gray color. Just to show you 
what these look like. There is Cherry Cola and there is Prom Night and they are beautiful colors. Uh, they're both a little on the darker side so if you want to do a complete look you need to put some other shades in with it. So what I'm going to do now is show you how I put together this look and then we'll be back to give our final thoughts. For this tutorial we're going to be doing this halo eye look and we're going to be using the two Makeup Geek shadows as well as some shadows that we've previously received in BoxyCharm, such as this Studio Makeup On The Go Cool Down Palette. We're going to start with a fluffy brush in the middle color here, which is sort of a grayish taupe, and we're going to use that to darken up the crease. Uh, this is sort of going to be our transition crease color. We're then going to use a pencil brush in Cherry Cola, the Makeup Geek Red color, and we're going to put that on the inner and outer corner of the eye, just up to the fold of the crease. The halo eye is going to be darkest on the outside and then go lighter towards the middle. So once we get that on there with the pencil brush, we're then going to take a flat dense brush into Prom Night, the grayish color, and just lay that right along the edges of Cherry Cola, again just up to the sort of line where your eye folds there, the crease line, and blend it a little bit into Cherry Cola, which is not hard at all with these shadows. We're then going to take just my finger into a Ofra goldish highlight. You can use any highlight and just pop that right on the center of the eye. Just even that tapping motion blends it. And then on a fluffy brush, we're going back into the crease color just to blend out the edges, which is not hard at all with these shadows. We're gonna take a flat brush back into that highlighter and use it on the lower lash line near the inner corner, as well as an inner corner highlight with that gold highlight color that we have. And then I'm going to take the same flat brush into Prom Night and put that on my lower lash line for about the outer half of my lash line. I'm then going to take a sharp angle brush into Cherry Cola and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to darken up just the outer third of my lash line, lower lash line, but then I'm also going to use it as my liner. So you can see I'm sort of stamping it along as a liner. Uh, darkening up the lash line and then I am also going to use it to do a bit of a wing. Again use a stamping motion that will be the easiest to get the wing done. So that is the halo eye that we have. I just use a bit of concealer to sharpen up the edges a bit and then put on some mascara and have my lashes done and that is the halo eye look. I really like the way the red and the gold go together with the prom night blending towards the center. So what can I say about the Makeup Geek shadows? They are pigmented, they are blendable, they are lovely, they are just really so much fun and so nice to work with and knowing what I know about what people say about the quality of all of your shadows combined with getting to play with these ones they are awesome and I would love to have more of them in my collection. They cost a reasonable amount. I think it is $6 per pan. Uh, you get a product that is made with quality ingredients. There's no talc or anything in here. They are beautiful to work with and I would highly recommend them. I think if I was going to be expanding my collection of eyeshadows with purchasing things with my own money, I would be going to Makeup Geek and looking there. Um, I am curious about the rest of their products. They seem very well made. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep up their affiliation with Z Palette if people are not enjoying that company anymore, but if you do want a different magnetic palette to put your Makeup Geek shadows into that is not supporting Z Palette, if you feel like it, Makeup Geek actually sells their own magnetic palettes as well. That's where I'm going to stop for today. Thank you so much. Um, if there is an issue with the lighting, I am still getting this worked out and I swear I will get to a point where it works well. So thank you for sticking with me. Uh, once again, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you receive these eyeshadows, if you've used other Makeup Geek products that you would like to recommend to me, um, if you have any thoughts at all, leave them in the comments. I respond to every comment that I get. And please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.